kick it, Jackie Chan. Oh, Jamar Chase with the dive. You know, Garrett Wilson's wide open. Garrett Wilson, touchdown, Barrett. What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video here on the Water Juice channel and welcome back to the Brooklyn Barons rebuild here on Madden 23 and boys I cannot even express to you how excited I am. I've got so much energy coursing through my body because we are in the playoffs. The NFL playoffs. Yeah, we did it. It's taken us two seasons, three seasons of actual Madden franchise, but the first season is voided because we had to simulate the entire season to kind of get the relocation started. So technically it's the third season, but we are in the second season of actually being called the Brooklyn Barons. Last year, season one was not great. We didn't do very good at all. But season two... Boy, howdy, we won 11 games, 11 games. Can you believe that? Our defense was the first ranked defense in the entire NFL. We were causing turnovers. We were causing people to, to go to fourth down and punt the football back to us. We were causing havoc, getting sacks, fumbles, everything you could think of. We were doing it on defense. We were one of the best defenses in the entire NFL and according to EA we were the number one ranked defense this season so this defense means business I knew from an early point this season that this defense was gonna be like top tier is gonna be like legendary status but it was just the offense holding us back we had Justin Fields as the starter for the first half of the season he just could not get the job done he was too inconsistent we benched him for Malik Willis a 68 overall quarterback or 69 either one he's now up to a 70 or maybe a 71 now and he was also kind of inconsistent at times but for the most part he was the guy that got us on this path we won maybe five games in a row with Malik Willis as the starting quarterback and we finished 11-5-1, made the playoffs as the 6th seed, by the way. Not even uh, like sneaking as the 7th seed. We made it as the 6th seed. So there was a team below us that had to sneak in. I think it was the Tennessee Titans. And our prize for doing so well and having such a fantastic out-of-the-blue shocker of a season is we get the chance to go on the road to Baltimore and take on Lamar Jackson and the Ravens. So, you win some, you lose some. <laughs> I'm going to go into this mindset, th I'm going to go into this game with the mindset of, we can do this. We are a good team, we are a better team than the Ravens, we can do this, we can win. Now, I also, I want to let you know, I went into that same mindset with the game against the Bills. And we got absolutely clapped by Buffalo. But every team basically got clapped by Buffalo, so it's not that big of a deal. But I am going to go in with that same mentality. Hopefully this time it works out for us, and we can have another playoff game next episode. I don't really want to go to the division, or I don't want to really go to the, the offseason just yet. I want to see how far this team can go. But remember, this is just the beginning. This is a full-on rebuild. We're just in the beginning stages of it. We're at the very bottom of the building blocks. We got to get all the way to the top, which is the Super Bowl and then consecutive Super Bowls after that. So these are just the beginning stages. But we've got Barons and Ravens wild card Sunday. I think it's probably it's probably on Sunday. Wild card playoffs coming up for you guys. I hope you are excited. If you are, leave a like, subscribe to the channel, join the Juice Club. And sit down because it's going to be a wild ride. Here we are, wild card weekend, super wild card weekend. And we're taking on Lamar Jackson and the Baltimore Ravens. I first want to go into staff points and uh, spend some of these that we got from last episode. We can focus on probably the defense. Let's focus on the defense. We'll get some trench play in there. We'll get some... Uh, boost the catching for the cornerbacks. We should have used that last week because Sean Murphy Bunting completely just botched an interception that was clearly going to be a pick six. 
But we ended up winning the game anyway, so it didn't matter. But there's those staff points sent. We can go into the weekly strategies and figure out how to game plan against this team. They have J.K. Dobbins, 88 overall, star development, running back, obviously X-Factor, 96 overall, MVP, Lamar Jackson. We are going to try to contain the run game, the contain the QB scramble of Lamar, even though it says they're backup quarterback for some reason. Um, and then on defense, they've got superstar development, Marlon Humphrey, and star development, Mar Michael Pierce. I think we're going to go with throw it short. If we need to adjust at halftime, we certainly can. And I don't know if our method is going to work. I don't know if we're going to be able to turn over Lamar Jackson three plus times. I mean, maybe if we cause some fumbles, we can get some nice turnovers. I don't know. It's going to be very, very interesting to see how this comes about, how we can play this game. Tom Lowry gets an upgrade. Lewis Seen gets an upgrade. Love to see it. Get those boys auto-upgraded. I do want to check the injury report because I want to see if Aiden Hutchinson is still injured or is he back for this game. Aiden Hutchinson is out for one more uh, one more game. So if we do make it to the divisional round, he won't play in that. But if some reason we make it to the AFC title game, he'll be back. Unfortunately, Panay Sewell got injured in practice, so he will be out. That's not great because now we have to have Sawyer Dart play, left ta or play right tackle for us. So we're going to have the second year man. Where's he from? Second year man from Meat Chicken, Michigan, um, play right tackle for us in the biggest game of our franchise's history. Yeah, that's not terrifying at all. <laughs> okay. Let's go take a look at what makes this Ravens team tick. Who do they have? Well, we know a few guys that they have on the team already, but who do they have on this team that made them so good this year? They know We know they have Lamar Jackson. He's a 99 overall with the with the morale boost. 97 speed, 96 acceleration, 95 agility, 96 change of direction. This guy is a freaking animal. J.K. Dobbins and Antonio Gibson as the two running backs. That's a nice one-two punch right there. You got the power of J.K. Dobbins and kind of the shiftiness, catching out of the backfield kind of style of Antonio Gibson. Then you've got Rashad Bateman and Brian Edwards and Devin DuVernay as the wide receivers with Robbie Anderson, Darius Slayton. Okay, that's not a horrible receiving core. I've seen better, obviously, but not bad. Not bad. Lamar's had worse. <laughs> tight ends, you've still got Marky Mark, Mark Andrews, and an X-Factor rookie tight end, James Collins, out of Pitt? Pitt? Pittsburgh. Okay, he's better than our guy, George Patton. I wonder if we had an opportunity to draft this guy or not. I don't know, but he's an X-Factor. They've given him Wrecking Ball. Whatever. Uh, but that's two really good tight ends. Plus, they still have Isaiah Likely. So, hey, tight end core is 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 pretty good. Ronnie Stanley at left tackle, but he's getting a little bit older. They've got Parker Thomas out of Bama. Tyler Linderbaum still there at center. Sean Gallagher and Daniel Falele. That's a, that's a really good offensive line. That's a really good offensive line. That's going to be a problem. Dean Lowry, Carl Lawson, former Brooklyn Baron, and Michael Pierce on the defensive line. And then the linebackers, Sion Takitaki, Patrick Queen, who's super fast, and Adafi Owe, former Chicago Cougar player um, in an alternate universe, are the linebackers. Corners, Marlon Humphrey, who's an X. Oh, he's only a superstar. I thought he'd be an X Factor. Oh, that's right. We did it in the weekly strategy. Duh. Stupid. Marcus Peters is still here. They also have Antonio Riddick, second man out of Boston College. Okay, so the corners are pretty decent. At least two really solid ones, two veteran guys. Then the safeties, Marcus Williams, Kyle Hamilton. And kicker, punter, Rodrigo Blankenship, and Jordan Stout. Okay. Very interesting. Rodrigo Blankenship, also a Cougar legend in an alternate universe. So that Ravens team is pretty good. Pretty good. But on paper, we seem to be a little bit better. Our offense is 91, 89 defense, and a 90 overall. There's 88 offense, 85 defense, 86 overall. So on paper, we have the advantage... But in terms of just regular play on the field, it's going to be interesting. Is this going to be a one and done for the Barons? We'll have to find out. If you want to quickly take a look at the other playoff bracket or the other matchups in the playoffs, it is Chiefs, Steelers, Texans, Titans, and then it's Giants, Packers, Seahawks, and Commanders, and then underneath my face cam is Falcons, 49ers. So those are the other playoff matchups going around the league. And obviously the Bills and the Bears are the one seeds in the respective conferences. <sighs> Playoff action 
Barons, Ravens. First playoff game in franchise history. Can it be a success? We'll have to wait and see. It's the opening round of the NFL playoffs, and EA Sports continues its coverage of Super Wild Card Weekend. It's the Barons and the Ravens on Sunday night primetime. EA Sports coverage of the NFL playoffs brings us to the home of the Ravens. Sold out M&T Bank Stadium in Baltimore, Maryland. Coming up, it's the final game of Wild Card Weekend, and we've got a good AFC matchup in store between the Brooklyn Barons and the Baltimore Ravens. Hello, everyone. Welcome to the postseason on EA Sports. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. And Charles, that's really all I need to say to get you fired up. It's the postseason on EA Sports. And no one's more fired up than the guys who are going to be playing in this game. This is what they fought for all year long. Go back to the OTAs, the mini camps, training camp, throughout the season to get to the playoffs. The intensity level will be off the charts. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Brooklyn Baron playoff football is underway for the first time ever. Daryl Holcomb is returning, and he gets it to the 25-yard line. And we've got Malik Willis starting his first ever playoff game. To be fair, either one, Justin Fields or Malik Willis, would have been starting the first ever playoff game. We took a look at everybody's stats at the end of last episode, so if you want to go back and, and take a look at how everybody did this season, you can certainly go back and watch the end of last episode. But this is playoff football. And it looks like the Giants upset the Packers, so they will move on. We must be the late game on Sunday. We must be the night game. The Commanders beat the Seahawks, so the Commanders will move on to play in the Divisional. Very interesting. Third and inches already. We've had two run plays with Saquon Barkley. This time it's Michael Carter. Michael Carter's got some space. Michael Carter squeezed through it like he was oiled up a little bit of butter or something. I don't know what it was. The Chiefs beat the Steelers. The Chiefs were the, the higher seed, so that's expected. Still interesting. Steelers are always a tough out. Barkley doing pretty good to carry us so far in this game. The 49ers beat the Falcons. I think the Falcons were the better seed in that one, if I remember right. If I could get this out of the, the backfield, it's Barkley. He might have had the first down there, and they will give it to him. Thank you very much for that. And they counted that as a rush because it was behind the line of scrimmage, and I, I passed it behind myself. So it was a, it was a running play for Barkley. Ramondre Stevenson tries to get a few yards. He wants to get a, uh, involved in the the run game. I think this is Garrett Wilson. Probably. Yeah, Garrett Wilson right in the middle. Use the block from Elijah Moore to get a couple extra yards. And that's the first throw of the game for Malik Willis. And it was a very good throw. Give this to Michael Carter. He broke one tackle but couldn't break any more. I don't really like these clear out routes. Sometimes they work. Sometimes Darnell Mooney gets open. Other times it doesn't really work. It will have to work, and it doesn't. There was too much pressure there in the middle. Too much pre pressure coming up the middle. Remember, we have a new right tackle in there, Sawyer Dart. He's gotten some playing experience before, but maybe not at right tackle. I don't remember if he's played right tackle before. He probably has. That was a nice throw on the run from Malik Willis to Barkley out of the backfield there. Getting the first down. We are extending our drive. Give this to Saquon. Saquon, balls out, balls out, balls out. Get it, get it. Thank God. Tom Lowry, the starting center. My God, Saquon Barkley. Wow, that ball was bouncing around. I almost had a panic attack there. Ramondre's gonna go nowhere. 
That was the biggest bailout of all bailouts. That was crazy. Absolutely crazy. We were able to hold on to it. I might have to roll around here. I think I'm going to take off and scramble Malik Willis. He's at the one. Fourth and goal from the one. It's time for the juice special, ladies and gentlemen. You know we have to do it. It's the playoffs. From the one yard line. This is a tough spot to be in. Can the juice special work? Here's the snap. Touchdown, Barons. Malik Willis gets in with the juice special. And the Brooklyn Barons have the lead on the road in the wild card. Man. If anything else, we can say that we have held the lead in a wild card, in a playoff game in the NFL in franchise history. We have had the lead. And we will not be shut out in our first ever playoff game. That's a promising sign. We're trying to prove that we deserve to be here, ladies and gentlemen. We're, we're not just a Cinderella team that got in off of a fluke. That ball's out too! Jermaine Johnson! Was that J.J. Godfrey? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Are we about to go two scores up on the Baltimore Ravens on the road in a wildcard playoff game? Was that J.J. Godfrey that popped that out? It was J.J. Godfrey pops that ball out. Jermaine Johnson falls on top of it. And we've got the ball in Baltimore territory. Holy mother of Mary. That's one turnover, ladies and gentlemen. We got to force three plus to get those extra staff points. Barkley, one play, touchdown Barons! We are legit! We deserve to be here! Yes, sir! Brooklyn Baron touchdown. What was that celebration by Barkley there? I gotta take a look at that. But what an open lane there. That's just a crazy blocking from Lowry, from Dominique Peck, Quinn Miners, and then Barkley does the rest, gets into the end zone. What's the celebration? He's like looking for everybody. <laughs> He's looking for his teammates. There's nobody around. Saquon Barkley, a little bit of selly action here. He's not even happy. <laughs> oh, there he is. That's, a, that's the celebration we were looking for. Right there. Look at that. Oh, that's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. <laughs> oh, Saquon. You kill me. You absolutely kill me. All right. I cannot believe what's just happened. And ladies and gentlemen, Lamar Jackson has not even stepped on the field yet. We have a two touchdown lead over the Baltimore Ravens and Lamar Jackson has not even stepped foot on the football field. This has been the best start to a game, regardless playoffs or not, that we've had maybe ever. This is insane. The momentum boost that we've just gotten here. Can we do it again? No, we can't. Okay. So they changed. Oh, that's a different returner. They changed the returner. And here he comes. He's he's in a hole. He is in a hole in the wild card playoffs. But he had a fantastic season. And knowing Lamar Jackson, knowing his talent level, he can certainly pull this Ravens team out of it. But they've got a lot of work to do before they even step on the field. Plus, the quarter's almost over. It's about to be the end of the first quarter, and the Ravens are just now getting the ball for the first time. That's galaxy brain clock management right there. I mean, we didn't throw the ball until like three minutes left to go in the quarter. That's going to be a quick throw. It's Mark Andrews. Tremaine Edmonds, Tremaine Edmonds does a good job of getting the tackle. And this will either be the final play of the quarter, or they won't snap it. They will not snap it. End of the first quarter, Brooklyn leads 14 to nothing over the Ravens. But we know this is the NFL. Anything can change in the matter of a quarter. Third down and four for Lamar. He's going to have his man. It's wide open. Rashad Bateman, and he has an open lane, getting a couple extra yards after the catch. That was a beautiful throw from Lamar right down the middle. That looked like a throw that we would usually hit. Come on, boys. Play good defense, J.K. Dobbins. And Dobbins will get a first down automatically there. Okay, Ravens starting to get hot. Ravens starting to get a little hot. They're getting some momentum going. We have to adjust at halftime to figure out some sort of different game plan because the first drive, Lamar's not running very much. That's going to be Dobbins. He stopped after a gain of one. 
Oh, all right, all right. Second down and nine from the 49. Lamar with the ball. He hands it to Do or No, it's not Dobbins. It's the backup running back, Antonio Gibson. And he will get a yard. So both Dobbins and Gibson get a yard each on this uh, these last two plays. Third and eight. Lamar will throw the ball. He will have it open. It's Mark Andrews. I tried to get Tremaine Emmons in this position to swat the ball away. He just wasn't quick enough. Couldn't react quick enough. And Mark Andrews will have a huge first down conversion there. That's uber frustrating, but it is what it is. That's deep in the end zone. Out of the back of it. First and completion for Lamar. Nobody was even in the area. I don't know what he was looking at there. Maybe there was a miscommunication from a receiver and quarterback. I don't know. But there was nobody even in the area. It was only Lewis Seen. And Quinn and Williams in the backfield. But wow! Antonio Gibson, he keeps fighting! We do end up getting a yard loss on the play, but Antonio Gibson, I thought I had him wrapped up with Quinn and Williams, but he fought through it. Maybe I was wrong. Maybe he's the bruiser of the backfield. They've got their third string running back in there now. And Lamar will just check it to the sidelines, and they will settle for a field goal attempt. The defense come into play. We really stood tall there once it got tight. And it's Rodrigo Blankenship. He's done this many a times in a Cougars uniform, and he nails it for the Ravens to get them on the board. 14-3, but remember, we started the exact same way against the Bears last episode, and then I completely choked away that game, almost, and let the Bears back into it. I don't want to do that this time. <laughs> this one means more. It just means more. Daryl Holcomb gets us to the 27. That's where we'll start. Oh, and Malik will walk back onto the field for the third time. All right, boys, just keep playing our game. They get the ball to start the second half, so we've got to score here to make sure that we have our advantage. Let's go with a little bit of a stick play here. Justin Jefferson hopefully will be open in the middle, but you never know. Uh, yeah, Justin Jefferson's open enough. He'll get the first down and a couple extra yards. Good throw from Malik. Good route from Jefferson. Good separation. This is about to be the final play of the half, or no, of the two-minute warning for this half. And Barkley gets a couple decent blocks, but not great enough. And he'll get five yards. Not horrible. And that's going to be the two-minute warning. Okay. Two minutes before the half. A lot of pressure. A lot of pressure. A little shallow dig, maybe? I like Justin Jefferson being pressed right there, but I don't think that's the move. I'm going to roll out. I'm going to roll out. I'm going to roll out. I'm going to hopefully find Saquon Barkley, but he didn't really even know the ball was coming. Maybe I should have went aggressive catch. I tried to go rack catch. It probably should have been intercepted. That's all right, because we have George Patton, the rookie tight end. Let's go. Big catch. Love having George Patton back there. That's a huge catch. I don't really want to take a shot, but maybe that's the right idea. TJ Hawkinson, big catch. And he keeps going. He's fighting through. Good job, TJ. We don't really use TJ that much, but I do like having him as a kind of a safety blanket type of thing. Let's switch to a run play. That's what I wanted to call. And it's Saquon Barkley fighting for a couple extra yards. Not really much. Now we'll go slants. We're running out of time here in the quarter and in the half. If Malik could have gotten there. Dominic Peck injured on the play, so that means uh, Jamie Brackett will come in. I think he should come in at least. That's a huge sack from the Ravens there. I tried to get it to Garrett Wilson. Couldn't get it to him in time. And now Michael Pierce is injured. I didn't think he'd have that swatted down, but he did. And with 38 seconds to go in the half, Evan McPherson with six mile an hour wins will take a field goal opportunity here. 52 yards. Nailed it. Get in there. Boom! Evan McPherson drills a 52-yarder on the road in the playoffs. That's what you want out of your kicker. That could have been good from 55, maybe even 57. 
17 to 3 with 34 seconds to go in the half. I don't know what the Ravens will do to end the half, but they do get the ball to start the second half, so we'll have to play. We'll have to play tight. Dislocated elbow, that's not great. I might want to switch to have Let me switch. Can Jamie Brackett come in? I don't really want Michael Jordan coming in. Uh Jamie Brackett will come in to fill that spot instead of Michael Jordan. Just cuz we have a, it's he's a better overall. It's a better better odds, I guess. Plus he filled in for like 5 weeks or so at left guard anyway. So he knows the position pretty good. I mean, obviously Michael Jordan does too cuz that's his position, but 17 to 3. 28 seconds to go. They use their first timeout. That's a quick throw caught. Good tackle. Edwards goes down. That's their second timeout. They're using short passes. They're wasting time and wasting timeouts. Oh, Steve Smith, I needed you to get there. Keep him in bounds. Good hit. Bryce Hall with a beautiful hit. That keeps them in bounds, uses all their timeouts, and now. If we could just get them in, in play, like keep them out of bounds, we can run this clock out and they won't get any points. Yeah, that's going to do it. That's going to do it. Good tackle. No, they're not going to get anything else off. They do. They get one more playoff. Yes, it's incomplete anyway. It doesn't matter. We hold them to no points at the end of the half. A good half of football for the Brooklyn Barons. Let's continue to do throw it medium now. We'll switch to that. And we will try and stop the defend the short pass for Lamar Jackson. So the QB scramble wasn't really much of a factor in the first half. So we can adjust. We can certainly adjust. And this isn't good, ladies and gentlemen. The Texans beat the Titans, which is not good for us because that means that if we win this game, we will play the one-seeded Buffalo Bills. So rip our playoff hopes if we win this game. But that's if we beat the, the Ravens here. I know we're leading 17-3, to but nothing's ever over in a game of Madden until that final whistle blows. It is never over. And J.K. Dobbins, especially when our team is horrible at arm tackling for some reason. Motion. From the Ravens. It's going to be finally. It's a Lamar Jackson keeper. But Kayvon Thibodeau was ready for it. And he uh, smothered Lamar. Didn't allow him to go anywhere. And we are in a second and 13 with the Baltimore Ravens. It's going to be a handoff to Dobbins. He's going to get some space. Tackle. Gang tackle. There we go. They got their yards back after Lamar tackle for loss. Third and 10. Third and ten. Who's going to get there? Lamar's going to sprint. Somebody get him. Yes. He took a bad angle for that. And he forces a punt. We force a punt of Lamar and the Ravens. He took a bad angle. He probably could have had the first down if he would have went a different way. Our defense. They were number one for a reason. Can I get around? Yes, I can. Can I get around the corner again? Daryl Holcomb. Nope. But a decent return there. Barkley, 42 carries, or 42 yards on 8 carries in a touchdown. Let's get back into the swing of things, boys. Just keep the offense moving like a, like a machine. Keep the offense moving. Barkley. All right. A couple yards. Nothing crazy. I always feel like this play, I never use the Hawkinson route. I always just use the George Patton route. Uh, that time he dropped it, so Patton fails me there. Oh, Saquon's the one running that route? Okay, I don't like that. But what I do like is Justin Jefferson and press coverage. Jefferson! That would have been insane if he would have caught it. We don't punt the football even in the playoffs, ladies and gentlemen. This might be a bad idea. might be a good idea. We'll have to wait and find out. It's Garrett Wilson. It's always a good idea when it's Garrett Wilson, man. Always a good idea. I could have had TJ Hawkinson, too. Either one of those two inside verticals would have been open. But I was always looking Wilson. Oh, God. Okay, they were ready for that run. They were ready for that run. That's not good. 
We're going to have to figure something else out here. Do I think that they would run with Garrett Wilson if I send him deep? I had to float that over. It's going to be caught by Elijah Moore. That was intended for Garrett Will or uh, Justin Jefferson. And the ball just happened to go right to Elijah Moore and he caught it. I'll take you, baby. That works for me. Oh, I don't want play action. Not on third and one. Let me just get a halfback dive. I believe in this offensive line. I shouldn't have believed in the offensive line. And it's a holding call, too. So it's going to be third and, what, 11? Who is it on? It's on Tom Lowry. Third and 11. We didn't get it anyway, so. I should have just went QB sneak. The juice special would have worked. Um, Hawkinson, why'd you jump up for it? I wanted you just to go possession catch on that one. And we are out of field goal range with that holding call, so we've got to go for this. I hate my life. I hate my life. Justin Jefferson first down. You cannot leave Justin Jefferson open, boys. You can't do it. He's too good. Another conversion. That's our second fourth down conversion of this drive. And Barkley has a huge open lane right through the middle of the offensive line. And he will take it for a first down. Let's give Ramondre a carry now. Ramondre Stevenson. That was absolutely not blocked at all. Is that Michael Pierce? That was absolutely not even blocked. I'd appreciate if my offensive line blocked. <laughs> Get that away quickly. It's Justin Jefferson. Another first down for him. Saquon's injured. Uh, that's not good. Breaking news. We do have two capable running backs in Michael Carter and Barkley. Or in, uh, in Ramondre, but... Pectoral strain is not ideal. A pectoral strain is not ideal. I chose to keep Barkley on the bench until he's back. I'm just thankful it's not like he's out for the rest of the game or something. Carter's still in. This has got to be Garrett Wilson, right? Okay, we're going to the end of the the hat or the quarter. We start the fourth quarter up 17 to three. We've basically controlled this entire game. This has been all Barons. Because we started so hot in the game. Uh, I gotta roll out. I gotta just throw it. It's not gonna work. <laughs> they want us to go for it. Fourth and goal from the three. I respect it. What are they gonna come out in? You know what? It's the playoffs. Let's do this thing. I shouldn't have done this thing. I, I apologize. <laughs> I apologize. I shouldn't have done the thing. It was a slant route. I should have hit it earlier. Or oh, I should have just took the field goal. Oh, that's going to be a holding call. It's got to be. And Lamar B is going to come back. Yep, Ravens holding is at Stanley. It's going to be Parker Thomas, and it's first and 20. So they come back to the 10-yard line. I always got to make these games closer than they need to be, don't I? I always got to add that little dramatic piece at the end. I don't know why. I guess I just have a flair for the spectacular and for the dramatic. Oh, that's a screen. Quiddy Pay was on top of it. He got to Lamar before he could even get the ball away, and he had to just heave it to the ground. He had to dirt it. Third and 16. Lamar's going to scramble. He's going to throw it. Pick that off. Somebody pick that off. you got to be kidding me. Lewis Seen. Really? You couldn't pick that off? Don't know how he didn't. It bounced right off his hands. Fourth and 16. Can we turn these boys over? Get to him. Don't let him have time. He's going to heave it. One on one. Rashad Bateman just mossed me. 
Was that really a moss? I don't know. He he absolutely babied me. That's for sure. We can't let Lamar have that much time. He's going to scramble. Lamar Jackson! Why did my big hit stick not work? Oh my god. I can't believe they completed that to Bateman. One on one with Bryce Hall and I didn't get the knockdown at least. I don't even care about the interception. I just wanted the knockdown. Lamar goes down. That was a bad idea. We were all over that from the get-go. Second and 14. But remember, this drive is just taking a long time, man. They are using a lot of time. Plus, we're going to get the ball back, and we can use time. Jacob Martin makes an impact. That's two games in a row where Jacob Martin has gotten an impact play. Last episode, he got a sack. This episode, he gets in the face of Lamar and forces an incomplete pass. Third and 14. Motion. Lamar. He's going to roll. Keep him in contain. There it is. A sack. It's Thibodeau and Steve Smith. Half a sack each. Don't know what he was thinking, but we were able to get there. Don't let him complete a pass to Rashad Bateman this time. Get to him. Get to him. He's going to heave it. Knock it down. Why does that work? Why does that work? That's back-to-back -back fourth in forevers where they've he's just heaved it to Rashad Bateman and he's won it both times. Rashad Bateman is not an amazing 50-50 guy. Why is he winning these? I don't understand it. J.K. Dobbins will get stopped. Come on, goal line stand, boys. Goal line stand. We got this. We're pinching. We're bringing everybody in. Get there. Yes, sir. They tried to give it to Ricard. They tried to trickery. And that's the two-minute warning. One more play. If I swear to God, if they if they throw this to Rashad Bateman and he catches it, I'm going to flip out. This is the third, fourth, and goal, or the third, fourth down they've had on this drive. He's going to get it. Ah! Hey, it's Bryce Hall. I probably should have kneeled it at the end zone. But I ran out of or I ran out of play. Bryce Hall with the interception. And that very well might have just won us this game and won us our first playoff game in franchise history. Oh, that's a great blocking. Saquon Barkley beat one man. Barkley. Ugh. But that's a huge run play to get us out of the shadow of our own end zone. Oh my god, that was the craziest drive I've ever felt in my life. Ramondre gets a few yards. They use their second timeout. We'll give it to Ramondre again since Barkley's kind of still a little tender with the injury. Stevenson. I had a lane, I just couldn't get it in time. It's third down and three. We've got to get the first down here to end it. They've got no more timeouts. Barkley will get it. Thank you for the extra push. Thank you for the extra push. We got the extra little nudge there, and we get the first down. We wouldn't have gotten it without that. And ladies and gentlemen, your Brooklyn Barons will go on the road and win a playoff game for the first time in franchise history. Not only is this our first game in franchise history, this is our first win in franchise history. Man, I am over the moon right now. I did not think this was going to happen. Woo! This is kind of emotional right now. This is kind of emotional. We just dominated from the get-go with the opening um, possession touchdown and then the, the fumble on the kick return for the Ravens. And then we score again to go up 14 to nothing in the first quarter. The Ravens hadn't even touched the ball on offense before we were up two scores on them. I mean, that's just insane to say. Barkley gets over 100 yards rushing, and we don't have to touch the controller anymore. We can win this playoff game. Malik Willis is officially a winner in the playoffs. Man, this is going to make decisions a lot harder in the offseason. I don't know what we do. 
Brian Dable has come into this team and completely altered everything. We've won a playoff game for the first time ever. And Malik Willis was the starting quarterback of that team. Him and Lamar Jackson share some words at the midfield mark. Man. What a performance from everybody. Not just the offense, but the defense as well. 9 for 17, 136 yards, no touchdowns, and an interception for, Le for Malik Willis. But he didn't really need to do too much because this defense was controlling it and Saquon Barkley was controlling it. 14 carries, 102 yards, and a touchdown for Barkley. 6 carries, 7 yards for Stevenson. And 5 carries, 18 yards for Carter. And then Malik Willis had the QB sneak. Receiving 3 catches for Justin Jefferson. 2 and 38 for Garrett Wilson. Everybody else just had 1. Defensively, we had six tackles from Murphy Bunting, four from Lewis Seen, who also dropped a very easy interception, half a sack from Thibodeau and Smith, and one interception from Bryce Hall that sealed the game. Yes, sir, we win a playoff game. But now, unfortunately, I'm pretty sure we have to play the Buffalo Bills, so our happiness is pretty much just probably going to be one and done. And I have some unfortunate news. I just opened the injury report, and Dominique Peck is done for the playoffs. Probably. Unless we make it to the Super Bowl, he's probably done for the playoffs. So we will have Jamie uh, Jamie Hackett, I think, right? That's his name? He will be the right guard. He was basically the right guard for the entire season because Dominique Peck missed a, a, a good portion of it. And yes, my, my fears were realized. We are taking on the Buffalo Bills, who we are 0-2 against in the regular season. They went 16-1, one of the best records of all time. Uh. Oh, it's Jamie Brackett, not Hackett. It's Jamie Brackett. He will be the starting guard for the rest of the postseason. Panay Sewell does come back, so that's good. But, man, am I, am I upset that we have to play the Bills. Why couldn't the Titans just upset them? They couldn't upset the Texans so that we could get the... Then we could get the Chiefs? That'd be a lot easier of a matchup. I mean, still not easy. It's Patrick Mahomes and the Chiefs, but... Going up against Josh Allen and Diggs, and we know we've faced this team twice already. We know what they can do. <sighs> Unfortunately, I think our our season, our miracle Cinderella season, is coming to a close. Next episode, but hey, I'm not. I'm gonna go in with with positive positivity, a positive mindset, and we're gonna try and win that game. But that's for next episode. I hope you guys did enjoy. We won our first ever playoff game in our first ever playoff game unbelievable scenes i'm super excited i hope you guys are too thank you for stopping by and watching i really appreciate it. if you enjoyed it leave it a like subscribe to the channel join the juice club and we've got divisional round action next episode Whew. thanks for stopping by i appreciate it peace